Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Jordan, or Floor Lotus as some of you, some of you guys may know. Um, this is just a quick little, well not a quick tutorial, but it's a tutorial on how to make a 2D pop-out clan logo. Um, I saw a lot of requests for this, so I'm going to be um, trying to show you guys how, how I do it. I know there are a lot of different ways to do it, but this is the best way I find. So, you want to get your picture, I chose this. I get most of my pictures for avatars off Behance. It's, uh, graphics design website and it's really useful actually but to start with you're going to get your clan logo I've got the floor logo here the floor snipers um, and I added a drop shadow and an inner shadow uh, which is there and there as you guys can see um, I placed it below that and now I'm going to press ctrl J to duplicate it right click oh no it's already been rasterized um, usually when you right click there's a rasterize option and you click that just so it's edit editable but I've already done that so going to move that above the logo, right click, create clipping mask. And as you can see the drop shadow and inner shadow are showing through there because if you take them off you can't see the logo. So what I'm going to do now is using the pen tool uh, over on the tools thing, I'm going to basically try and select all the bits in the gaps that aren't inside the logo that I want to be outside if that makes sense. So the bits that are going to be sticking out, you want to go round them in the pen tool. Um, I'm just going to do this really roughly, so you guys can, you guys don't have to wait too long. Um, so I'll just try to do this real quick. Um, yeah, so tell me what you want to see from my, from me, uh, in the words of uh, tutorials and stuff like that, because I can do. I'm mainly 2D. I can do 3D, but I like to do 2D stuff, um, photo manipulation stuff, um, stuff like this, uh, backgrounds, rebrands, all that jazz. Um, I enjoy doing all that. So, if you guys have any requests, make them. Uh, put them, in, leave them there in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to check them out because I check out all the comments on all my uploads and all tutorials wherever they get uploaded um, that's another thing I'm not actually sure if this will be uploaded on Design Academy but if it is hi guys because you don't know who I am but I probably would have put something at the start of the video right so I've got that bit and I'm just gonna draw around the edge of the logo alright sorry about that guys my phone went off um, I've already had to restart this like three or four times because my my brother decided to run the room last time. Um, so you're gonna bring this all the way around to where your start point was, which I've actually, no there is. Right, so you're gonna join up the path, right click, make selection, okay, and then you're gonna go on the, one, the click on the clipping, mar clipping mask layer and press Control J and what that's gonna do is gonna duplicate everything which is in that area. So as you can see, this all this stuff over here has gone over the logo so if I take this away you can see it's a bit messy like parts like that but you can just go around that if you don't know how to use the pen tool like this there's a tutorial there's loads of tutorials so I'm just gonna all you gotta do guys is just literally carry on like that and just it's just your choice like what bits you wanna stick out which bits you wanna make stick out I usually like doing like the main head of a uh, something or like wings of a dragon dragon head dragon wings they all look nice um, all that stuff looks nice so hopefully this will help you guys out but I'm just trying to real quick go over all this so I can show you guys some more stuff okay guys so as you can see I've roughly got the this background bit sorted out um, I've got all the bits I want so that's actually looking quite nice I'm pretty happy with that for a tutorial because obviously there's a lot of stuff going on um, all the bits that are sticking out what I'm gonna do with them is I'm gonna click on one, hold control, click on all three of them then still holding control press E and that will merge the layers 
Um, and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make an outline of the logo. So I'm going to go over to the pen tool again. Choose a nice like white or something like that. Um, click on your paintbrush. Nice hard brush. Usually three works for me. And then what I'm going to do is just go around the logo. There are different different ways to do all this stuff, by the way, guys. But this is just this is just how I do it. Um, right click, stroke path. Um, this logo is actually quite hard because it's got circles and stuff. In it. But it's just going to help show the the actual logo a bit more. It's going to make it a bit more easier. Right, it's going to make it easier for people to see. So I've got all that. Um, that's actually looking alright. Okay, so now you're going to click back on your original clipping mask. Wait, I need to sort that out. Click back on your original clipping mask and press Ctrl J, duplicate. Press Ctrl T to resize and make it quite a lot bigger than the actual thing. Place it right at the bottom. Right, and then go Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And as you can see, it makes the logo a lot more defined. Um, and you can do it you know, as much as you want. Or as little as you want. But I, I usually go around 9. 9 works nicely. And as you can see, that's actually looking really nice. Apart from a couple of dodgy bits up top. So, then underneath, just type in your good font. I'd recommend would be Typograph Pro in extra bold and then size usually on about 80 uh, wait, about 20 oh 80 is a bit big let's try 72 no, that's fine right um, something else like a little tip you guys could do so you see these white lines here click on it the actual layer uh, filter distort ripple and then press ok and you can see it like ripples the, the lines and that's a really nice effect for the outlines of a logo I just really like it, I think it looks really clean it looks really nice but I'm just going to stick with that for the time being uh, for the text I'm going to duplicate the clipping mask layer again I'm going to drag it above the text, right click clipping mask ok, right click blending options I'm going to go stroke, I'm going to set it to white as well, keep it on 3, I'm going to press OK, then we're going to go, we're going to click on both of them, go Control E to merge them, edit, transform, perspective, I'm just going to add a bit of perspective, edit, transform, warp, and you can literally just bring certain points of it up just to kind of give it a bit of a distorted look um, and that's it guys it's it's really that easy it's not hard at all to make a what well, I, I like that logo I think it looks pretty nice um, so that's it guys um, I hope you learned something if you didn't uh, leave a comment um, on improvements and if you do have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll leave my Skype in the description, so if you do need any assistance, you can just message me real quick. So um, that's all, guys. Um, peace out. Have a nice day.